Hi guys, uh, today I am going to explain few informatic interview questions on aggregator transformation. So these are very very important in most of the interviews definitely you will get at least one question on this. So the first question is what is aggregator transformation? So aggregator transformation is an active transformation and connected transformation. It is mainly used to perform the calculations on group of rows. The second question is what is the default behavior of aggregator transformation? So by default aggregator transformation returns last row as output in each group. Suppose I have an example. I have a table with employee and it is having the columns as employee ID, EMP ID and salary. Here if you see the employee ID which is having 101, 102 is having the same salary 200 and 103 and 104 is having different salaries. Okay, so if I do uh, a group by on salary column then in aggregator if I do uh, sell if I select the salary in group by clause then informatica gives the output as below if you see here it returns the um, distinct values in salary but it selects the second record these two are the uh, these two salaries like 200 200 these two employees is having same salary but it returns the only one record which is having one uh, last one in the duplicates if you perform the same thing in DB level we have group by clause right so if you perform the select with group by clause on the same table then you will get like this here if you see it selects the first one 101 200 not 102 200 so this is the difference between the informatica and db level group by clause okay if you perform if you perform group by in aggregator then it will give the last record if you have the duplicates and the same thing if you perform in the db level uh, with group by clause uh, then it will return the first record if you have the duplicates the next question what happens if you don't select group by ports in aggregator if you don't select any group by ports by default it reads all rows as a single group and returns last row for example same thing i'm i'm giving this is the example only so i have i have duplicates and everything okay um, but i haven't selected any any field in group by uh, in group by clause in aggregator so i haven't checked any column in group under group by so at the time it treats these all rows as a single group so by default aggregator gives the last record in informatica right in the group so it treats all these as a single group so the last record this one is the last record in this group so it will return the 104 and 400 the last record in the table okay so this is the answer and next one what happens if you select all groups by port all group by ports in aggregator so this is the third question is if you are not selecting any group by then it will gives it will treats all rows as a single group and it returns the last row so if you are if you are selecting all ports in group by then it eliminates the duplicate records it returns only the distinct records okay and the fifth question what are the different types of catches in aggregator transformation so we have two types of catches in aggregate while you are using aggregator transformation it will uh, create the two catchy files one is for index catchy 
so it contains only the uh, group by ports information second one is data catchy it contains the aggregated calculations calculation port information okay so the extension is like dot idx and for this is for index catchy and uh, the second one is for data catchy it is uh, save with dot dat file dat file so the next question is what are different types of aggregate functions in aggregator so normally we use uh, these aggregate functions uh, we have some other also but um, basically we use some max mean average first and last record these these functions we use uh, normally uh, in aggregate functions so these are the ba basic uh, functions we'll use we'll use the next question is what are conditional statements in aggregator transformation so while performing aggregate calculations we can use the conditional statements with the use of if condition so here you can see uh, sum is the aggregate function here i am passing the condition like if ct equals to hyderabad then i'll sum up the salary otherwise i'll simply pass zero so it will calculate uh, the sum of the uh, salaries who are in Hyderabad. So the next question is what are nested aggregate functions in aggregator transformation? If you place one aggregate function in another aggregate function, then we call it as a nesting of aggregation. So for example, uh, here you can see I'm using the max aggregate function here again, I'm nesting one with one more uh, aggregate function a uh, sum. So inside of max, I'm using one more aggregate function sum. So like this, you can uh, nesting the aggregate functions, um, but you can uh, nest only uh, till two levels. The next question is that is only you can see here we can nest up to two levels only so so here max is one one uh, one level so sum is another one more level so only two levels we can nest up in um in sum you cannot write one more aggregate function so already here it is it is uh, completed two levels of uh, nesting the next question is what happens if group by ports contain null values all rows containing null values will treat as a separate group suppose i have uh, i have a salary column so in that it is having um, uh, four records which is having nulls so if you do group by on salary column then the records which is having nulls it is taking as uh, it will consider as one group and in that it will return the last record like the last record which is having null that record it will return the next question is can you create a variable port in aggregator yes we can create variable ports in aggregator if you have a doubt you can just try once uh, in informatica like you can able to create the variable port in aggregator or not information so we have two optimization techniques for aggregator transformation one is sorted input and second one is incremental aggregation the next question is how to set sorted input option in aggregator transformation like for sort to um, sorted input option available under properties tab of aggregator transformation when you select this option you need to send the sorted data to the aggregator based on the group by ports like in group by if you select um, department number uh, then you need to sort on uh, department number and then you need to send that uh, data to the aggregator how sorted input helps in incre increasing performance of aggregator transformation when we sort the data and send to aggregator then immediately performs uh, aggregate calculations it won't wait till all rows read from source you know right informatica it can't read all rows at a time it will read row by row 
if you don't select sorted input then aggregator it will wait till rows uh, all rows read from source and then start uh, calculating the uh, aggregate uh, calculations the next question is what is incremental aggregation so incremental aggregation means aggregating the values based on the existing aggregated values I have an example you can see here first time when I receive the file I have these two rows uh, like employee number name salary department number in that I have two employees with 100 um, like employee number with 100 and uh, 101 so for this um, I'm per for these two records I'm performing the um, I'm summing up the salaries uh, based on the department suppose here you can see um, I have the department with uh, 10 and the, all the salaries under department number 10 I'm going to um, I'm going to summing up uh, so uh, this I got 10 and for the, for the department of 10 I got uh, 5000 when I sum up the salary so this is going to uh, save in catchy file next time when new employee added to the same department then um, it is going to um, add a salary to this uh, 5000 already calculated value uh, the, this value is going is uh, is already saved in the catchy so this 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 value it is going to take and uh, it is going to add the new salary to that already existed previous calculated value it will not perform again like 2000 plus 3000 plus 4000 just sum up the 5000 plus 4000 when catchy files deleted for incremental aggregation what happens session won't fail it will recreate the catchy automatically can we select both sorted input and ag incremental aggregation at a time no we cannot select like this because uh, selected sorted input it will perform the calculations in memory if you uh, select incremental aggregation then it will it will perform the calculations on existing catchy values so you cannot select both at a time the next question is where catchy files stored so normally the catchy files by default stored under server info shared and info shared catchy in this directory it is uh, going to going to store by default and uh, the next question is when catchy files will be deleted automatically catchy files will be deleted after session succeeded the next question is catchy files will be deleted if session fails no if, if session fails catchy files won't delete uh, we we need to delete manually the next question is how to get first and last record using aggregator by default you can get last record um, if you do aggregator if you want to get um, first record then uh, you need to use the first function for each port source sq2 aggregators by default one aggregator returns last row and the aggregator uh, select first and uh, connect to the tar to target instances 